Hello everyone, this is Thomas with SketchUp Architect and in this video we are going to go over editing and creating new materials in SketchUp. So in our model, let's replace the stone texture here with a custom stone texture. And if you're looking for a good place to find some really good textures that you can use in SketchUp, try the SketchUp Texture Club. They have a large library of materials. All you have to do is click on textures, select a category. I'm going to go ahead and click on stone walls. And here you can see some of the different stone categories that it has. Now, if you're looking for something more specific that you cannot find here at the SketchUp Texture Club, just try going to Google and typing in whatever it is you're looking for and just add the word texture to it see what comes up go to images and just go ahead and save that file and you should be able to use that in SketchUp now I'm just going to go back to SketchUp Texture Club and let's browse through some of the stones they have here and as you can see they have a lot of different types of stones that we can use here and I have already saved some of these and I already have a stone that I want to use in my project so I'm going to go ahead and go to my desktop and open up the file where I have my materials saved and here you can see some of the stone textures that I have already downloaded and saved onto my computer now in order to apply this to our SketchUp model I'm going to go back to SketchUp as you can see it is already the current texture so now I'm going to click edit and I'm going to click on this folder and now I'm going to find the image that I saved in my computer and I'm going to go ahead and select one of these stones uh, textures that I have here and I'm going to click open and there we can see the new material applied to where our existing material was and I'm not too crazy about the scale of this material so I'm going to go ahead and edit that by clicking over here any value that I enter it will scale the material in proportion now if I want to change that proportion, I want to distort the material texture a little bit, I can click the link icon and there you can see it's broken now and now I can adjust those individually. And I'm going to go ahead and adjust that again and you can adjust any material whether it's a custom material or a standard material, it can be adjusted in SketchUp. Now another way we can change the scale and proportion of this material is by clicking on it and right clicking going to texture position and as you can see here it's allowing me to drag the position of this material and another way I can change the proportion and scale of this material is by grabbing one of these pins on the on the four corners and I just click and drag my mouse and I can change the scale and rotation of this material. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and click out of that. And another thing I can do with this material, with a custom material or a standard material, is I can adjust the colors by clicking and dragging these bars. And I can also click on my picker over here and it gives me a couple different values, parameters that we can adjust our colors with. And if it's doing anything weird, we can always click on this colorize and it keeps everything kind of in a, the same tint of color. So that's something useful to use as well sometimes. This allows us to change it in a more even tone. So there we can adjust our materials however we want. We can darken it, lighten it, whatever works for your model. And there you have it. That's a quick lesson on adding and editing materials in SketchUp. Thanks for watching.